Hi, this is Sean from Phil and Sean's Vintage Model Radio Museum, which is a short feature on valves used in model radio control. As you can see, the valves on the left manufactured by Mullard. These were typically used in transmitters. You can see physically they look the same, same size, same diameter, seven pins, but very different in operation. The DCC90 on the right is essentially two valves in one glass envelope or tube, as the Americans like to call them, and the one on the left is um, effectively a, a single function valve. Um, the reason you used them was if uh, the DL92, 94, 96 type valve was less expensive. So you could build up the circuitry using two of these and then if one valve went, you could replace the single valve. Whereas in the case of the DCC9, if part of it went, you had to replace the whole. Um, but this made a, a neater, uh, less difficult set to construct. So that's why it was favored for home construction. On the right hand side are some of the smaller valves that we used in receivers and uh, some of these types known as soft valves. They had a disadvantage that they didn't have a long life, typically 15 hours, could be a lot less if you put too much current through them and that's why you see in early examples of videos of people setting up uh, radio control single channel aircraft, they have meters plugged in the side and that was to check the current flow, it was also for tuning purposes but uh, one of the reasons was is so that you didn't overdrive these and um, burn them out as relatively they were very expensive. Uh, the XFG1 was one of the first ones from a, a company called Hivac, who were also known for making one of the first specific transistors for model aeroplane use. And a uh, later valve was the XFY34. Uh, this had a higher voltage requirement, the XFG1, this was uh, in the 30, 36 volts, I believe, 34 volt range. The XFY34 used 22.5 volts. Mullard also made their own version, which was a DL66, and uh, this particular valve was favoured by ED in a number of their read receiver sets. So there you go, there's some examples of uh, early valves. Fortunately we don't need to use these anymore, and uh, things have got a lot smaller, more complicated, but um, more reliable. Thank you.